Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Always when I debate Muslims, they get humiliated by their ignorance, not by me actually. And then they decide to make a rebuttal to refute me. During the debate, they could not make it, they lost big time. So after the debate, uh, they gather together, like many of them, just to answer me. And you should see how genius they are. Uh, this is Osama Abdullah, the owner of uh, Answering Christianity website. He is the one who admitted in his debates with me that his prophet was living in illusion. Delusion. He's, he's a, he lost his mind, as he said. And uh, he admitted that his prophet was bewitched by black magic. And he is the one who actually admitted before that black magic does not even exist, which means he denied Islam to be exist, to be a valid religion, because he said from his own mouth that science proved that black magic is false. And later, after he got tons of emails from Muslims humiliating him because this is against what the Quran teaching, he, just, he noticed that he was a stupid fool when he said that because that alone is exposing Islam to be false. So he decided to back up and say, oh, I was wrong. But now he got five Muslims to refute me. I think there are five or, or maybe five, including him. Let us hear the names. And point, and point number seven. I would also like to give special thanks to brothers uh, Bassam Zawadi, Sami Zatari, and Karim. Uh, they are authors of www.answering-christianity.com. You can see their uh, articles in the author section. Uh, I'd like to thank them for uh, helping me uh, put the points of this audio together and helping me in finding the references that exposed Christian Prince and his lies. So all those people, he they helped him to put the point together, which means this is a rebuttal of five people or four people. He said, what, his name, his, uh, this is him, Osama Abdullah, and the kid, the guy, the eyebrow kid, kid you know, the one look from the zoo, um, he's like 23 years old. And, and by the way, this, this kid himself, he asked, uh, I think it was him, he asked Osama Abdullah to remove all his articles from his website because they are full of errors and mistakes. Uh, anyway, the articles is very easy to make, but how valid they are, and he admitted that he, they are wrong. And uh, uh, Bassam Zawadi, and you know, like, who, who, who are those people? Like, you guys, you can refute me? I want to see how they can refute me. Listen, listen carefully, guys. For Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was clean and even cleaned the lice from himself. So those five, uh, they claim to be scholars, four scholars, they meet, meet together to make a rebuttal for me saying that the prophet was so clean and even he cleaned himself from lies? Uh, uh, I'm not sure really how, 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 how smart those people are. Those names you mentioned to me, what is their name? Sami Fattari? And uh, what? The Wadi? And the Badalari? Walari? I don't know. All of those, they admitted that the prophet was so clean to the point he cleaned himself from lies? Now, the prophet, he cleaned himself uh, from lies. You know, monkeys do that. I don't know, like, what's wrong with the... What, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? The prophet, he is... You guys, did you see monkeys cleaning themselves from lies? Monkeys, they are like... So, the prophet is so clean, and even he cleaned himself from lies. Like, come on. How how big are the proof you want from a Muslim that the Prophet, he, he is a clean person? And actually, you know what? I challenge Muslim to show me Muhammad clean himself from lies. He never did. He used to sit in his wife's laps and she or them or the wives, they clean him like a monkey. So don't tell me he cleaned himself. But as long as they mention this, as you see, this is the hadith in the front of you. And this is in Sahih al-Bukhari, uh, sorry, Sahih al Dawood, uh, book number 19, hadith number 3074. The Prophet is so clean, so clean, to the point his wife is cleaning, picking lice from his head. How many lice in his head? We don't know. And we don't know. And, and he have visitors around. The wife of uh, Uthman is there. Uthman ibn Affan is there. Like, you know, this is what they, uh, Muhammad he do. He have a friends visiting him over. So he put his head in the lap of his wife and they start cleaning his head. Those only in the head, we don't know about the underwear and other stuff. 
So when four or five Muslims, they claim to be a big shot Muslims, hmm? they are uh, uh, writers, uh, very funny writers. Uh, they say from their own mouth that the Prophet was so clean to the point he cleaned himself from lies. Well, the clean one, he do not need to clean himself from lies. And he don't accept himself to be clean when he is full of lies. And in here you notice that the story is reported as it's not in, it's not like a daily daily stuff happening in the, in the life of Muhammad. She is not saying that the Prophet was infected, which means something is happening temporarily. No, it's something usual happening. You know, she had visitors. Zainab, narrated Zainab, this is the wife of Muhammad. She was picking lies from the head of the apostle, peace upon him, while his wife, the wife of Uthman ibn Affan, and the immigrant women were with him. Why, why, why they are, what they are doing there, the women? Oh, Muhammad, he loved to sit with women. He forbid Muslims from sitting with women, but he is allowing himself to have all those women around. He enjoy it. It's okay. And you know, maybe he is better than other Muslims because first of all, he's a prophet. Second of all, he have more lies. And he said it was for one year, uh, which I exposed him on and, and proved from the authentic sources that, what, that it was for 40 days only, not a year. Okay. Uh, so uh, the Muslims admitted now, uh, this guy, Osama, admitted that his prophet by, was under the control of shaitan or Satan for 40 days. For 40 days. This is Quran, chapter 15, verse number 42. Go to any translation you want. As you see, this is Muslim translation, not mine. What the verse in here is saying, Allah said to the Quran, uh, My sincere servant is indeed a way that, uh, that leads straight to me. Uh, forever my servant, no authority shall do have except such as but themselves is in the wrong follow thee actually the word in arabic uh, it is al-ghawin al-ghawin is the filthy ones so allah is saying to shaitan from my servants those who they are i created those who they are the good ones who follow me let us say that the muslims you have no authority over them okay now the question if allah is saying a promise to shaitan that you have no authority over uh, the one who follow me except the one who follow thee which means the, the satanic one you see the one who follow thee the one who they are in the wrong and they follow thee which is shaitan so uh, when Allah he says that to the shaitan that you have no authority over those who uh, uh, follow me except those who follow you and then you tell me and you admitted that Muhammad was under the control of uh, uh, of shaitan for 40 days and that is a contradiction for other verse in the Quran the verse which is saying that Allah will protect Muhammad because he's a prophet from the genie and from the mankind chapter 5 verse number 67 Allah protect you from people so according to the hadith this guy who is a satanic man he's a Jewish by the way his name is Lubayd ibn al-Asam uh, Osama Abdullah does not know how to say his name uh, he did bewitch Muhammad, uh, which means he used a satanic power to control Muhammad. But this is against what the Quran is saying. Allah will protect thee from mankind, as you see in the front of you. So Allah is saying he will protect Muhammad from mankind, but in the same time, uh, you are saying to me that a Jewish guy, he was able to control him by taking some hair from where we don't know, maybe from, maybe from his ass. How Allah says, I protect thee, a Muslim, he might say to me, oh, this is a protection about uh, the, the, by, the, the Quran. What well, well, Protect thee. Uh, is Muhammad the Quran? Protect thee is protect thee. And later we found that Muhammad, he died by poison too. And later we found that Muhammad, he was receiving satanic verses too. So Satan is playing with Muhammad, genie playing with Muhammad, people playing with Muhammad, everybody is spank spanking Muhammad. In the, in the top of that, you say to me that Allah, he protect Muhammad. And Allah says nobody can... Uh, uh, do any harm to Muhammad and and at the end we see Muhammad he was under black magic Muhammad was killed by poison Muhammad he is imagining himself having sex when he never did and you know what and, and that is telling me and the funny they, they, they are the Muslim they say uh, uh, nobody took his revelation at that time also no, nobody took him seriously at that time also people at that time they noticed that he's stupid right this is what you are saying to me 
people noticed that Muhammad is so stupid fool. So at that time, when he was under that, did not take his revelation from him. What a silly religion. What a silly prophet. What a silly Muslims. Follow with me with more videos, please. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to spread them all over.